This week, ABC News is taking an in-depth look at the problem of global warming. And tonight, we introduce a major new poll conducted by ABC, Time Magazine, and Stanford University. A vast majority of Americans, 85%, now believe global warming is probably happening and that it will become a serious problem in the future. ABC's Bill Blakemore, who has covered this subject extensively, joins us tonight with details. Bill? Well, Kate, there's now consensus among virtually all scientists that global warming is happening, is underway. And almost all scientists agree man-made greenhouse gas emissions are a significant cause. Now scientists tell us the only questions are how we're going to deal with it and try to prevent it getting far worse. Already, hundreds of scientific studies and videotape from all over the planet show the variety of global warming's impact. Polar bears facing extinction as the sea ice they need for hunting on vanishes, along with masses of ice at the South Pole. Glaciers disappearing from the Rockies, Andes, Alps, and Himalayas, even faster than scientists expected, and robbing millions of drinking water. And the kind of extreme weather scientists warned of 20 years ago. This past year's hurricane season, for the first time ever, ran out of letters. Americans are taking it all in. 56% in our poll believe the world's temperatures have been rising in the past three years. 70% think the world's weather patterns more unstable. Half say they've experienced the same in the last three years where they live. All over America, folks have stories that they relate to climate change. Near Toledo, Ohio, Lake Erie was ice-free in midwinter. This ferry line ran for the first time ever through January. Sophia Schroeder, seven, loved her past February birthday parties with everyone out on the ice, where they even built bonfires. Not this year. I wanted to have my birthday on the ice again, but there was none, so I had my birthday at um, this place called Tony's. Most surprising in our poll, while half of Americans say they're now experiencing warming, 64% still mistakenly think that there's a lot of disagreement among scientists about whether global warming is happening. Americans are actually quite off target in their beliefs about scientists. The scientific community is remarkably unanimous. And that mistaken belief may have consequences. This poll shows us that those Americans who believe the scientific community is united in thinking that global warming is real and a problem are the most supportive of government action to solve the problem. In other words, the one-third of Americans who are aware that credible scientists all agree global warming is underway are far more likely to be seriously worried about it and, Kate, to want the government to do something about it. So important to understand. Bill Blakemore, thank you. And you can find the full poll on global warming by logging on to the Broadcast Plus section of our website. That's at wnt.abcnews.com. And while our poll finds American attitudes about global warming are shifting, it has taken years for the public perception of the problem to catch up with the warnings. Tonight, ABC's Jeff Morell reports that lack of concern may have been just what big oil wanted. Time is running out, this new ad warns, to combat climate change. Our future is up to you. But Virginia's top climatologist doesn't buy it. The American people have just been bludgeoned with climate disaster stories for God knows how long, and they're just, they've got disaster fatigue. Pat Michaels is one of a handful of skeptics still downplaying the danger. But they are a tiny minority. The vast majority of scientists have determined global warming to be a real threat. So why has it taken so long to convince Americans? Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist Ross Gelsband blames a 15-year misinformation campaign by the oil and coal industries. The point of this campaign was not necessarily to persuade the public that global warming isn't happening. It was to persuade the public that there is this state of confusion. This 1998 memo by the American Petroleum Institute says victory will be achieved when average citizens recognize uncertainties in climate science. Uh -huh. To redefine global warming as theory, not fact, the industry funded research by friendly scientists such as Pat Michaels. The industry's influence even extends into the White House, where up until a few months ago, a former oil industry lobbyist was one of the president's top environmental advisors, editing scientific reports to make global warming seem less threatening. 
From now on, we don't have scientists write reports and just take them. We pass them through a White House filter before they're ever published. I mean, that's scandalous. Are you worried about global climate change? We need to a few oil to companies led by BP have changed their tune and are now aggressively addressing the problem. But some continue to promote the idea there are uncertainties in the science. Jeff Morrell, ABC News, Washington.